So welcome to the series for the new homesteaders. This is gonna be designed based off your questions and our answers helping you be better at homesteading. First question is gonna be... So what are my options to generate power for my homestead? All right, so power generation on your homestead, obviously there's a lot of things available. We do solar mostly. You can also do wind generation. You could also do just a portable generator to charge your battery banks or wind, solar, and a generator to charge your battery banks. There is some other stuff out there that could be geothermal based, driving some kind of motor, which is a little more advanced, but it's possible. So there's four good ways for you to power your homestead. Next question. Do wind generators really work? Do wind generators work? Yes. Here's the caveat. You have to have a lot of wind. So if you live in an area that gets gusts of wind, wind generators aren't gonna be that great. They like a steady wind of maybe three to five miles per hour or a little bit more to constantly turn. They're not great at bursts. They're great at continual speed. So they do work if you have the conditions for them. Next one. So my family has decided to do solar. How many panels do I need? That's a tough one to answer because it's really dependent upon you. So for us, we have shown you in our system, a complete system, we have 24 panels at 250 watts each, which is 6,000 watts total. I know it's a lot of panels, but we really run a lot of stuff. So the answer to you is really kind of how much you want to use or how much do you need to use on a daily basis. And then if you go by our strategy of how we do it, you will want to factor in the worst days that you plan to have on your homestead. It's great like today where we were made power for the whole day by like 11 a.m. and then we didn't need anything else. But if you cut down that number of panels to maybe half, it may be further on in the day when we make enough power. And then there's those winter days where you don't have anything and you've got a factor for that. Next question. I've seen in magazines where people use those Harbor Freight kits. Can I really power my house with one of those? Yes. So again, those can be done. The trouble with them is they're really not very big systems. So each of our panels is 250 watts. Typically, a lot of the ones you buy are gonna be in the 130 to 200 watt range, and they are not really set up to drive back into a house. So they will come in as maybe a 12 volt panel that will feed to something like a car battery or a deep cell battery, but then you've got to somehow convert that over to 110 volts or 240 or if you're going to run something like a well. So for us, when we first started four or four and a half years ago, we did, we actually had an RV pump that was 12 volt meant to be for an RV and it pumped water out of a cistern, the cistern into the house. It was great for 10 minute showers, but after that it kind of got hot and wanted to reset itself and you'd have to do the stand there with shampoo in your hair. So it can be done, but you're gonna have to have a lot of those panels and then figure out how to change that over to 110 volt, unless you're gonna live a 12 volt life. And the last question you wanna know about is... Do I really need a battery bank and how big does it need to be? I would say yes. Now, you don't have to, but you gotta remember, whatever you use to generate power has gotta be either solar-based, based on the sun, or if you've got a portable generator, or even a wind generator, it's gotta have the conditions to make power. So of course you can run a generator 24 hours a day, basically, if you need to. Wind generators gotta have wind, and solar, you need the sun. If you don't have a battery bank to store that power, you're gonna always be generating the power. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do something else. How much you need is really gonna be based on your life again. If you get to the point where it's dark and you're inside and you only wanna watch TV, you don't maybe you don't need a big battery bank just to be able to watch TV or play on the internet or anything else. It's kind of up to you, but I'm gonna say, I think to live more of a normal lifestyle to what people really wanna live, I'm gonna say yes, but the size kinda of depends on you. So that's it. Those are the five top questions we've seen from new hostetters. And if you have additional questions, 
drop them in the comments. We will definitely tell you what we think about solar and power generation. And we might give you a little bit of free advice too. So that's it from Sprague River Homestead. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah.